Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. So today we will play Zenva Sky and this is uh, on the Oculus Rift S and this is a game where you can learn programming on the computer and uh, yeah I have absolutely no skills in programming. I never did anything, not even one a code line. So this is interesting if I can do that or not. <laughs> you can find everything about VR and AR on this channel thanks to my sponsors Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Andy DeFelser VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys welcome to the game. Um, so we learn programming here. And I have to solve some games and after this game he shows me how that would look in a programming code. Um, so uh, we have different steps here. This is our program and we can move, rotate and shoot these gates. And these gates trigger functions like uh, an, an AND gate or OR gate or boolean or whatever. Um, and now we have an XOR gate and that means uh, only one of these can be activated. That means we, the first step is to shoot this gate, that he will do this, then one forward, turn right and one, two, three. You see the gate is open now, then we move one forward. We will rotate right now. And now three forward. One. And two. And three. So, uh, I am not sure if this is real. And now we get the code. If A and not B or not A and B print open the barrier. So this is the code text that we could use. I'm not really thinking that this does make so much sense because these games don't, in my opinion, don't really represent uh, that stuff. Try to combine what you've learned so far to complete this, this level. So, okay. So we have, what do we have here? So this is an AND gate, that means we have to use, what What was that? This one goes to this one. So we have to only use one of them, this one not. And I'm not sure if that is connected, that's the problem. One left, one shoot, right, one, two. I'm not sure if that is correct. We will see. Okay, that looks good. But I'm absolutely not sure if we have to use this as well. I mean, it's an end gate. I think we have to shoot them all. Oh no, that was right. Hmm, what, what did this have in common with the... Nah, whatever. Well done, let's move on to the next level. <sighs> I don't think you can really... That this makes really sense with these games. You can learn uh, programming by just reading stuff and doing examples, but these games do not represent all that stuff so good, I think. This is my opinion. Loops. Okay, begin a loop. Repeat the loop two times, three times, four times, and the loop. Okay, so let's 
start a loop. So let's go on. One forward, rotate left. One forward, rotate right. And we doing this right, and then we and then we do that one two times or what now we'll stand here we'll stand here and here two times no three times oh no no that's three times forward left forward right that let's see so uh, next time so this is the second loop now the third Oh, I think that was not enough, right? Was it? Yeah, okay, four. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry. Forward, left, forward, right, and go. Now it should work. So we, uh, how, how do you see that when, when he's rotating? Is that it's getting black? Yeah, that's for me the same because they want to avoid motion sickness while turning. That's a good thing, I think. And here we go. Uh, four. So the X is the ma how many times in range? We do this. Okay. Looks good. But what do you think, guys? Is that really something we uh, can use for learning programming? I'm not really sure. Use what you've learned so far. Oh my god. So, uh, what the, the heck is that? Uh, I, I can just... Huh? I don't need that stuff. I, I will just go around there. Oh, what? One, two, turn. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. One, two. Let's see what happens. We can just go around there or what? Huh? Am I am I cheating now or what? <laughs> I don't think that was intended to do like this. <laughs> oh wait. There was something missing. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait, we can. Oh, we can just do a loop here, and that means how often? 
one shoot one shoot one shoot one shoot so one two three four four and that means one shoot right and then we have to stop that because we stand here and then just go one step forward right i hope so Okay, next, second. And, oh no, there was one. Okay, guys, <laughs> I didn't see that. However, 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 you see what this game is about. I'm not sure if that really uh, brings us uh, programming. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Okay, guys, Senva Sky. I mean, the game is for free, okay? But I don't think that... Um, that you can really learn programming with that. It, this, these games didn't feel like I can learn the code with them. So I can just read a normal book and learning programming instead of playing the strange games. I mean, yes, there's a door and if it's activated, it's opening, yes or no, or, and, boolean, but I don't think you can learn programming with that. That's my opinion. Perhaps, I, I have no idea from programming, of course, but perhaps a real developer can check this out and tell me if you can learn programming with that. I'm, I don't think so. Um, it's for free. You can check it out. Um, yeah, and if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo